है एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल डेटा इंजीनियर इंसाइट विद निश अग्रवाल सो आई एम गोइंग टू कवर माई डेटा इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस फॉर वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट कंपनी मॉगन स्टैंडले सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर हाउ वॉज माई इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस फॉर द मॉगन स्टैंडले एंड हाउ वॉज माई इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन दे हैज बिन आस इन द इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस फॉर ए वन ईयर एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ डेटा इंजीनियर who are going to move into the data engineer role and who are going to appear for the data engineer interview for the top rated based companies so before starting that uh, myself nishchay agrawal i am currently working as a senior data engineer in walmart before that i worked in morgan stanley and misho as a data engineer and apart from that i am 221 batch graduate student uh, so let's start it for my interview experience so in uh, so before starting my interview experience i am going to share that so this role is for the bangalore position in the morgan stanley for the data engineer role in the uh, in the bangalore position so i applied through the referral from the linkedin so i got the referral from one of the uh, employee working in the morgan stanley for the role of the data engineer in morgan stanley so as a for the interview experience in their total five rounds happen in the happens for the coding test which is given by the hr so in this first coding test they uh, some questions are coming from the sql some question coming from the python and there are some question on the data structure and algorithms so this test is consist of 3 hours of a uh, test so i have to complete this test with, uh, in within 3 hours and this test is conducted on the hackerang platform so in this uh, test you can expect some question from the sql some question from the python and there are some uh, mix up, mix up question from the operating system and data warehousing because this role is for one year of experience so i uh, so there are question you can expect on the window function in the sql joins and group by in the sql question apart from that in the python i have some question in the python on list <coughs> data structure so i know that at that time uh, there are some question on the file handling as well in the python so like uh, like suppose if the, we have the file we have to read the file as a json format how we can read the function so there are multiple choice question on the sql and python so uh, around 60 question are there on the multiple choice question that we have to cover in the th three hours of the test so i complete around 55 question uh, correctly uh, on the sql and python and some question are from the operating system and database concept apart from there there are two coding questions in the data structure so one topic i know that is coming from the stack and one uh, topic is from the dynamic programming so i completed this two coding question also as well with a perfect solution and all the test cases get solved perfectly so this is the first uh, data engineer position test for the data engineer role in i cleared the first round of the interview which is the like online coding test so that time after that <clears throat> i was very happy because i cleared first round of data engineer role in the uh, in the morgan stanley <clears throat> now coming to the second round of data engineer in the morgan stanley so this second round is comprises of one hour 30 minutes round which is taken by the uh, like a senior data engineer of the morgan stanley so this test is mostly cover, co covering the concept of sql python data structure and algorithm and apart from that there are some uh, questions on the big data that i worked in the jadas in internship experience so as i uh, come to the point for the sql so sql they asked me two to three questions which are the commonly asked question you can refer the lead code question and i also attach this same link in the uh, bio link description you can refer this uh, question but i know the questions were mostly on the employee manager salary like i know one question is from that let's suppose we have two tables okay and one table is employee table and one table is a department table so they give me the question how to find the highest salary for each employee in each department one question is that and some question uh, one question is coming from the median salary how to find the median of the uh, salary for each employee using the window function or we using the uh, like processor so i solved this two question uh, we need 15 to 20 minutes uh, apart from that there are some question on the window function because for the sql i will advise to focus on window function as much you can because window function and group by and joins questions are very mostly asked in the company so i know that one question is from uh, the sql window function is that rank one sit dance rank function 
दे सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज दैट हाउ यू विल फाइंड हाउ यू हाउ यू विल फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ रोज लेट सपोज इफ यू आर जॉइनिंग टू टेबल्स टेबल ए एंड टेबल बी हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ रिकॉर्ड्स आर कमिंग इन द इनर ज्वाइन हाउ मेनी रिकॉर्ड्स आर कमिंग इन द लेफ्ट ज्वाइन हाउ मेनी रिकॉर्ड्स विल बी कमिंग इन द राइट ज्वाइन सो दे आर दिस क्वेश्चन यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन लेट सपोज यू हैव टेब टेबल्स हाउ मेनी रिकॉर्ड्स यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट सो दे आर दिस टाइप ऑफ क्रिटिकल क्वेश्चन यू कैन सॉल्व विद सम काइंड ऑफ फॉर्मूला एंड आई सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन इन ईजी वे बिकॉज आई नो दिस द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन and uh, then they move to the python question so in the python they ask me some uh, logical questions on the python coding question so they ask me to write the question uh, on uh, question solve first i approach my brute force algorithm then i move to the uh, like optimized way so i solve this two question on the python on the notepad itself one question is from the pandas library like um, we have a csv file how to read in the pandas and there are some uh, transformation we have to apply on the pandas so i i uh, uh, solve this question <clears throat> apart from that there is some second question which is on the python which uh, which is on the gif uh, which you can expect from the gif work is like uh, like i no, i have to find the number of occurrence of each element in the list okay so after that uh, uh, let's suppose we have a list 1 1 2 2 3 3 for example so uh, they may give me a list they ask me like uh, how i have to find the number of occurrence of each element in the list for like example one is occurring three times time. so we have to make a output in such a way as a dictionary format one ratio three one or uh, two ratio four like that so i have to solve this question with the brute force algorithm and with optimized way so i solve this question and there are some question on the like uh, pickling and unpickling in the python some question on the json loading uh, json parsing i solve this question and i uh, i have to solve one question using the ast which is the feature of the python so i solve this question then they move the <coughs> second topic is the big data concept which is very important for the data engineer so they ask me like a basic question on the uh, spark and hadoop so i remember some question on the spark and hadoop so first question uh, i was expected to solve the like uh, let's suppose we have a uh, data frame and and data frame is taking lot of time to uh, upload that uh, data frame data on, into a packet file in, on the delta table so let's suppose i have to optimize any code okay in the data frame how i can optimize how i can increase the number of partition in the python or uh, pyspark like that second question they ask me like a repartition versus kolisky spark architecture is very important question in the data engineer you will 100% expect this question what is the spark architecture because in the spark architecture we have to showcase that uh, how the transformation and how the action function is working let's suppose we have submitted one job application to the spark cluster which is running on the yarn mode or it can be running on the standalone mode so they can expected make the question like uh, let's suppose we submit one application to the spark cluster how the spark application will work so we have to explain in such a way spark application will be divided into multiple jobs based on the action function then uh, multiple jobs will be divided into the multiple uh, you can say uh, multiple uh, stages and stages will get divided into the multiple task so in such a way i have to explain the question so i take a practical scenario using the stage uh, stage ui and spark ui and i explain this question then they ask me like a basic question like some optimization question on the spark like how we can optimize the spark code if any job is taking lot of time how we can find the uh, like why the job is taking lot of time so i explain there are lot of uh, optimization techniques on the spark like adaptive query execution which is the feature of spark okay then i explain the broadcast join broadcast variable we can use then they jump into the map produce question so they ask me like uh, how we can reduce the number of mappers how can we manage the number of reducer in the map produce or not there is one very interesting question of the hadoop is rack awareness rack awareness how we can achieve the high availability in the hadoop <coughs> then they ask me like uh, what is the use case of fs image and edit logs so they are you can say uh, basic for a fresher role or for a pupil who are having experience less than 2 years i will suggest that uh, go with the this question basic question of spark like uh, broadcast join having clause and uh, some uh, in the sql the, some question on the window function in the sql in the hadoop you can expect the rack awareness uh, fs image edit log then in the spark you can expect kolisky versus repartition cache versus persistent there are some basic question you can prepare and i will make a separate video on the spark which is the top 100 question in the spark you can prepare that is uh, face is in in my last 50 plus product based company that i cracked in walmart apple other companies as well but these are the uh, layers on the spark and hadoop and sql and python you can expect this type of question in the first and second round of interview coming to the third round of interview 
सो इन द थर्ड राउंड ऑफ इंटरव्यू आई वॉज एक्सपेक्टेड ऑन द दिस इज राउंड टेकन बाय द वी पी वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द मॉर्गनेशनल दिस राउंड इज टोटली बेस्ड ऑन द डिजाइनिंग एंड डेटा मॉडलिंग पार्ट सो इन द डेटा मॉडलिंग आई विल एडवाइस यू फोकस ऑन द डेटा वेयर हाउस कॉन्सेप्ट एज मच यू कैन ओके बिकॉज डेटा वेयर हाउस कॉन्सेप्ट आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द डेटा इंजीनियर ओके लाइक स्नोफ्लिक स्कीमा डिजाइनिंग स्टार स्कीमा डिजाइनिंग ओके एंड दे आर सम डायमेंशनल मॉडलिंग क्वेश्चन आई वॉज एक्सपेक्टेड एंड देन वन क्वेश्चन इज एडवाइजिंग दैट लेट सपोज वी हैव टू डेवलप एन ई टेल पाइप लाइन विच इज टेकिंग द डेटा फ्रॉम द मल्टीपल सोर्सेज ऑफ डेटा बेस लाइक डी बी टू साई बेस एंड ग्रीन प्लम एंड इट कैन बी अनदर सोर्सेज ओके एंड वी हैव द स्ट्रीमिंग सोर्स एज वेल लाइक some data is coming from the kafka so how you will design the etl pipeline which is taking the data from multiple sources like uh, db2 mysql uh, kafka as well and some uh, data is coming from the event sources and how you will do the transformation on the top of the data and how you will dump the data into the final layer it can be redshift in the aws it can be snowflake in the uh, cloud okay so i was expected to uh, uh, explain some scenario where i developed in etl pipeline so i uh, explain this question with my practical scenario and one practical project that i did in my jedis internship so i explained with the complete example of databricks database like a very emerging tool uh, coming in the market so i explained this complete architecture of etl designing that i developed using the databricks and the redshift so they like my approach then they can uh, come to the data validation how we can do the data validation in the spark and how we can do the, using the spark and how we can achieve the data validation which is known as reconciliation in the data uh, engineer technology so i explained that there are lot of technology there are lot of methods are in the data validation like we can use the row, row count check we can use the md5 algorithm to check the data comparison at the row like row level also we have delta methods to check to check whether the data discrepancy is more than 1% or not so i explain various example with by sharing my example i take some practical example so that they can approach like my approach so uh, there is a, some advice here is that if you are going for any interview in the data engineer in whether it can be software engineer always try to solve any question in the interview whether it's theoretical question or is practical question with some example because they can relate to some example in the practical life okay so they will uh, so the interview will know that you have practical knowledge as well as uh, with the theoretical knowledge so i solve every question by sharing my exa- uh, by sharing my thoughts and example with my real life scenario and uh, by writing some code with like a pseudo code in the interview and this is the second on mostly concept of etl concept data modeling and some snowflake designing data modeling designing and that that some question coming on the scd so like slow changing dimension is the very important topic you can prepare what is scd to scd to type in the uh, data warehouse and one more question is coming on how we can achieve the normalization in the database okay so i explained all the four to five normal form like bcnf third normal form fourth normal form and how we can achieve so i take some practical example on that also then they ask me uh, they give me one coding question on the data structure which is like a this question i know this question is from the queue so like suppose question is that uh, one question is from queue and uh, so i solve this question and the second round is taking around 1 hour uh, 45 minutes because it consists of mostly, mostly designing part plus uh, big data concept as well okay so i solved all this question with practical example now coming to the third uh, fourth round of interview which is taken by the uh, executive director of the morgan stanley so this round uh, last around 30 to 40 minutes and this round is mostly focus on behavioral question some techno managerial question okay techno managerial question uh, you can say this like a term like a mix up of technical technical question and mix up of behavioral and manage, managerial question so in this round uh, i was have to given some uh, like uh, some practical life scenario uh, example so that they can relate in the office work okay so one question they ask me let's suppose i have a lot of task in the upcoming jira or you can say sprint which is of two weeks okay let's suppose if any other other task is coming in the same sprint but you are packed with the another stories you, that you are working how you will manage the multiple task in the in the current sprint second question they ask like suppose you have multiple uh, let's suppose you are working on some uh, uh, course a uh, topic and you stuck with the some topic and you are not able to proceed with the topics so how you will proceed let's suppose you are dependent on third pupil which is also busy in other task so how you will approach them to so that he or she can help you in your task and how they can help you in the current uh, ongoing task so this type of managerial question they ask me and some question they are uh, ask me like on my previous project that i worked on databricks so they ask me like what is delta table 
what is the difference between delta file format and the packet format so i explain that to packet format is like a uh, in the very basic format we are using the spark and i explain that to delta format like a delta like a format is like a combination of a packet format plus versioning on top of the packet format so that we can recover the uh, lost data in the delta delta file this is the feature of databricks you can uh, so i explain that to with, with a very basic example <coughs> then they asked me question on hadoop some how the hadoop architecture work they asked me like to explain any any one project where i have i contributed my all energies like i spent most of the time in jadas internship so i explained my one of my project on the database with the snowflake integration so he liked my project and also he asked me like how i will handle let's suppose if any new task is coming which i don't know let's suppose if any new poc is coming proof of, uh, like let's suppose i have to work on the uh, any new topic which is like a kubernetes or docker anything which i don't have experience so how i will handle this task and how will i will manage with the poc part plus learning part plus uh, uh, implementation part so i explain with, with, with very well example so he like very exam good uh, my profile as well and he asked me some question on my research paper that i published in my college example college uh, time so uh, i wrote a research paper on web crawler for ranking of website based on web traffic and page views so he liked my very uh, my confidence in the research paper as well and uh, and he also asked me like what is the percentage i achieve in my btech so i mentioned that i secured 91 percentage and i am the university topper of of uttarakhand so he like my profile and my answer and he says that you are very confident and he looks he is very uh, happy in my interview which is the director interview okay so this round also goes very well and after that i got a call from the hr that uh, this round has been uh, completed and no more round will be happen so she will get back after one or two days for the complete feedback uh, so finally get selected in the morgan stanley as a data engineer role and i am very very excited to be part of the morgan stanley because it's my one of my dream company uh, to be part of the data engineer in, in the one of the biggest financial sector company which is the morgan stanley because i uh, because that time i was very happy i uh, thanks for to the god my linkedin connection my or people and my family as well who corporated me in my hard life time and also i very i was very happy to join the morgan stanley so this is all about my morgan stanley data engineer interview experience and if you want to prepare for the data engineer role and if you are aspiring data engineer and you want to move from non tech te or any other tech to data engineer role so this is the right platform for you uh, data engineer insights where you will get all the data engineer interview experience tip how you can crack the top rated based company that i cracked and how you can achieve the data engineer role in your next career path i will share some tips and some practical example with you, with you all and i will share my real life example real life question so that you can relate in your next interview so best of luck for your upcoming journey keep in touch and happy journey for your life thank you so much